Hello developers, welcome to Talks of Order. In this video, we tackle a common frustration among developers. Connecting MongoDB Compass Countless students spend hours grappling with connection errors, only to be met with frustration and confusion. But fear not, because in this tutorial, I'll guide you through every step, from downloading MongoDB Compass to establishing a seamless connection with your database. And that's not all. By the end of this video, you'll also master inserting data into MongoDB Compass using a RESTful API built with Node.js, ExpressJS, and MongoDB. So if you are tired of struggling with database connections, stick around. This video is your ticket to MongoDB Compass success. Your time is precious and I guarantee it won't be wasted here. Let's turn that MongoDB Compass connection dream into a reality. Alright, let's dive into downloading MongoDB Compass. Here's how you can get started. First, open your preferred browser and go to Google and search MongoDB. You'll get first link mongodb.com. This is the official website. You can click this link or you can directly click on community edition. Once you are on the MongoDB website, you'll see interface try MongoDB community edition. If in case in the future this link doesn't work, then always go to products, then here you can can see two options enterprise advance and community editions so click community edition okay here scrolling down you'll find the mongodb community server download section so current version is 7.0.7 .7. now keep in that mind the version may vary at the time of recording this video in march 8 or you can say april 2024 this video is recorded it's version 7.0.7 .7. but remember versions are regularly updated okay next Select your platform, whether you are using Ubuntu, Linux or Windows. Choose the option that matches your system. Since I am using the Windows, I'll select Windows. Now you'll need to choose between the MSI package or the zip package. For ease of installation, I recommend selecting the MSI package. Click on the download button and the download will begin. The file size is around 577 MB. So depending on your internet speed, it should only take a minute or two because I have 30 Mbps internet speed plan. Okay. Now that the download is complete, let's move on to the installation process. You should have the MongoDB MSI package downloaded and you can find it in your download folder. So double click on the file to start the installation process. Click on next to begin and then accept the end user license agreement by checking the checkbox and clicking next again. You will be presented with two installation options, complete and custom. Choose complete and proceed. Then in the service configuration step, make sure the checkbox is checked. This ensures MongoDB Compass is configured as a service. You can customize the data directory path if needed. But for now, let's keep it as it is. This is where MongoDB will store all your data including collections and documents. The log directory is where any errors or debugging information will be logged in this file. Okay, so I'll not change anything here. So click on next to continue and then click install to begin the MongoDB Compass installation process. Then click yes to allow this app. So installation may take a few minutes. So please be patient. While you wait for the installation to finish, why not consider subscribing to the Octocoder channel. If you find our content helpful, subscribing ensures you never miss out on our latest tutorials and tips. Alright, and it's done. Click on finish to complete the installation. MongoDB Compass is now installed and automatically opened. You can see it running on localhost port 27017. Click on connect. These are pre-installed admin, config and local. Don't delete those files. Okay. At this point, we don't have any collections, documents, database. You might have followed similar step by watching other YouTube tutorials. But here's where the real challenge begins. Despite watching countless tutorials, many of us still struggle to connect MongoDB Compass to our database. Hours are wasted searching for solutions. And while some may succeed, others are left frustrated. But fear not. Just as I promise, I'm here to walk you through each step. So now, I'll open up Find My Restaurant project in Visual Studio Code. I highly recommend checking out the full stack RESTful API project series uploaded on the Octacoder YouTube channel. 
It's a comprehensive journey where you learn everything from creating controllers to middleware and how to build REST APIs from scratch. Throughout the series, you'll delve into 7 to 8 RESTful APIs covering tasks from creating to deleting, searching restaurant based on ratings, updating restaurant data, and much more. Trust me, it's well worth your time. You can find the link in the description below. Alright, inside Visual Studio Code, I have opened the Find My Restaurant project. Take a look at the app.js file. Here I have configured the MongoDB connection details and the path is specified in the .env file. And this is our database connection, localhost and slash restaurant db is our database name. Now let's run the application using the node app.js command in the terminal. The app is listening on port 8080 and we are hoping it connects to the database. Let's give it a moment. And as expected, we have encounter an error. Connect econ refuse colon colon one colon two seven zero one seven. This is a common frustration. Despite our efforts, the connection failed. It's likely due to our system's firewall blocking the connection. But fear not, there are alternative solutions. First, let's modify the connection path. I'll comment this before path so you can understand ok and in this path instead of localhost let's try using 127.0.0.1 this means also a localhost in numbers address it's same path ok let's run the application again stop and run ok and just like that within a moments our database is successfully connected to mongodb compass congratulations on overcoming this hurdle if you are following along, fantastic. But if you are still facing issues, don't worry. There's another method we can try. Let's comment out the previous connection path and try using 0.0.0.0 4 times 0. However, it's important to note that this is a public path which may pose security risks. So exercise cautions and only use it if necessary. Run the application again. And there we have it, successfully connected to the database using an alternative method, great job. If you are still encountering issues, don't lose hope. There's one more method we can try. Let's comment out the current path and here after 0, append colon 27017. Now let's rerun the application. And there we have it, success. We have managed to establish a connection using an alternative approach. Congratulations on overcoming this hurdle. Now let's switch gear and open MongoDB Compass. You may notice that our database hasn't been created yet. That's because we haven't inserted any data into the collection. Let's rectify that by using Postman. I won't delve into how to use Postman as it's already explained in the Find My Restaurant series. So after this video, be sure to check out that series for a detailed guide. So here I am adding restaurant. Here is already I have written details of restaurant like name, octocoder, location, mobile number and etc. Okay. So now let's just click on send button. And there we have it. A status of 200. Okay. Confirms that the data has been successfully inserted into the database. Let's now verify it in MongoDB Compass. As you can see, our database restaurant DB now contains a collection named restaurants, housing the detail we just sent via Postman. It's a beautiful site. Let's try sending another set of data. Here, let's just change name little bit, Octa Smile, OK, and send status 200, OK. So let's refresh the database. We now see two documents. Everything seems to be in perfect order. So now you know three alternative ways to connect MongoDB Compass to your database. I hope you are not feeling as frustrated as before. Spending countless hours searching for a solution on how to connect MongoDB Compass to the database. If your database has finally connected, share your journey with us in the comment below. And if you are keen to explore connecting your database to MongoDB Atlas, we have got you covered. You can find a detailed tutorials on this topic uploaded on the Octocoder channel. Simply check out the link provided in the description below. Now with that valuable resource in mind, let's wrap up today's tutorial. If you found this tutorial helpful, 
please consider giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the Octopus channel for more insightful coding tutorials. Your support means the world to us. Happy coding! Yeah.